Hi, I'm Heather, and today I'm showing you the new Mixed Media Journal from Graphics. The Mixed Media Journal comes in two sizes. I'm working on the 6x9 inch journal, but you can also get a 6x6. Each journal has two pages of clear Duralar, two of matte Duralar, two wet media Duralar, two black opaque Durabrite and two white opaque Durabrite. And there are two pieces of chipboard that I will use as covers. It comes with 10 discs to put the journal together. I'm using my mixed media journal to make a swatch book so that I can swatch the mediums that I use on impermeable surfaces like glass and plastic. I'm going to mask areas for the swatching with extra tack frisket film. So I'm cutting a bunch of strips to put on the pages. I tried swatching with just painter's tape or washi tape, but the inks crept underneath and that didn't happen with the frisket film. So I'm using the frisket film. It is the extra tack. I'm just dividing up my page. I'm going to swatch alcohol inks first. They are one of the things, one of the mediums that I use a lot on craft plastic. So I'm going to swatch them on the white and I'm going to swatch some on the black as well. And as I swatch, I'm keeping one side undiluted by rubbing alcohol and the other side I'm diluting so that I can see the colors that I get as it dilutes. Some of them break into more than one color. So you see tones of pinks and blues um, in a green, for example. So that's why I'm doing two drops and then adding rubbing alcohol just to one. And having the panel on an angle just helps that ink flow. And the air blower like, moves the ink, but also dries that um, undiluted drop at the top so that I can get that undiluted color in one section and the diluted color in the other side. You can see how well the frisket film masked all that alcohol ink. I didn't have leaks and now that I've removed it, I can write the names of the ink with a permanent marker, a Sharpie. Because the Durabright white craft plastic is opaque, I'll be able to swatch more alcohol inks on the other side and Although you get two pages, two of each type of plastic in the mixed media journal, you can buy separate packs of a single type. Now I'm swatching the metallics and the more opaque alcohol inks on my black Durabrite plastic, because that's usually what I use the metallics on. Once again, undiluted on the left and then diluted with rubbing alcohol on the right. You can see that these inks don't move as fast on the craft plastic. Um, move a little faster with rubbing alcohol, but they don't spread as far. So again, I had no problems with leaks. This swatch book is going to be really handy for me doing projects at home, but it's also going to be useful when I'm teaching classes and students want to see what the different alcohol inks look like on different colors and different surfaces. So I'll be able to take this book with me and even remove pages and show people when they can make choices about their colors. Now I'm swatching the alcohol inks on the matte Duralar. It's matte, but it's not um, opaque so it's slightly transparent so it, it gives a different effect and is worth swatching the 
same inks on the different surface to just give me a guide of what they will look like. Once again, just to remind you, there are five different types of plastics and this is the clear Duralar and I'm going to be swatching pens on this one. This is a good way to swatch the pens to see what they would look like on glass. So even though it might be a little hard to see them all in the video, this is going to be a great resource for me for working on plastic, but also for working on glass with the pens I have. So I'm writing with them and then just swatching the other colors that I have in this form of pen. Some of these are alcohol ink pens and some of them are paint pens. So I'm not going to swatch every single pen, but if I have more than one in a set, then I can just put a squiggle or a line beside it. There you can see more easily once I put some white behind. I also draw on Christmas balls. Some of them are glass and some of them are matte. So this will be a great resource for me as I work out which pens work really nicely on the clear surface. A lot of my metallic pens and paint pens look amazing on the opaque black craft plastic so I really wanted to swatch those out as well and decided not to just write this time to do a little bit of drawing just to give me an idea because that's probably what I will also do on the black craft plastic with my metallic and paint pens. The beauty of making my swatch book out of this um, mixed media journal is that I can get extra pages but also it's disc bound so slipping those extra pages in as I buy more markers and alcohol inks will be really easy. I haven't done any decorating of the chipboard covers yet, that will be a project for another day. But you can see I'm already building up my swatches of inks and markers that I have at the moment. I hope you enjoyed watching me turn my new graphics mixed media journal into a swatch book. It's going to be really good for me to have all these swatches in the one place and not be searching around for them. If you're looking for other ways to use a mixed media journal, make sure that you visit graphics on Instagram or YouTube. And I'll be back soon with more videos and inspiration. Thanks for watching.